I try to answer any comment or request on my channel under the videos and at times it's very hard to fulfill some of the requests. For example, I have been asked to translate these English videos into Hindi or Urdu, but it is very hard for me to make these videos in English and then also do the double of effort of translating or dubbing them into Urdu or Tamil because first there is no time and secondly it's a very taxing effort and I'm not sure whether it be worth of time and investment. But more often than not people keep asking and I really feel bad when I'm unable to do so. That is why I believe that Eleven Labs and any similar service can be a real blessing where people are unable to understand English and they want it to get translated into their own mother tongue such as Hindi, Urdu, French, Polish, Turkish and the list goes on and on. Eleven Labs AI dubbing and video translator enables you to translate your content across 29 languages in a very very quick way plus that list of languages is growing. In this video I am going to show you how you can do this dubbing from your own code from your local system by calling 11 labs API. So for this to get started you would need to sign up at 11 lab which is 11 labs.io and I will drop the link to their website in videos description. Once you have signed up and confirmed your account sign into their website and then from there either you can use their console just type something or upload the video on the left hand side you can go to dubbing so once you click on dubbing it will present you another screen where you can uh, tell it what exactly you are doing social media marketing or that and then give your dubbing project a name and then upload the file or you can give the link from youtube tiktok x or twitter vimeo and any other url for example you're hosting it in public s3 bucket in aws you can also link give the link of that video or audio and it is going to dub it you else it can detect your source language or you can simply uh, give it your own language and then look at the list of target languages english chinese spanish hindi portuguese french german japanese arabic russian korean indonesian and the list goes on and on there is also Romanian, Greek, Czech, Finnish, Bulgarian, Slovak and Tamil language from India. So this is amazing um, but I'm not going to show you that um, what is happening here. I'm going to show you how you can do that from API because this you already know it's very easy. But I'm going to take you to my local system where I have VS Code installed and then from there I'm going to show you it in VS Code. So let me quickly take you there. So this is my VS code. Now there are two prerequisites which you need to do. First you need to grab your 11 labs API key and I will shortly show you how you can do that. Secondly you need to install these two packages 11 labs and python.env. Simply open your terminal whether you are running windows, linux, whatever or mac then simply do the pip install 11 labs and make sure that you are you have python 3.11 or later installed because that is required for it so i already have installed these and i have set my 11 labs api key let me quickly show you how you can grab that api key let's go back to the browser i'm still in the same 11 lab labs console on the bottom left click on your profile and then once you click on your profile picture you can see that profile plus api key click here and here you can generate your api key i already have it so i have copied it if you want to regenerate it simply click here and it is going to regenerate your api key let's cancel it and let's go back to our vs code now let me walk you through the code and then we will see how it works first up i'm simply importing some of the required libraries which will be used for dubbing and stuff now this one is important this is not a pre-built library so this is just a debugging utils file which is available from 11 labs repo and i will also drop the link and this is a file so this is a very utility file which helps you in retrieving the api key from your environment then it defines the function where you can download the dubbed file but after dubbing of course you know what is the language code it's a very simple python function and then this is just 
doing a wait condition while the dubbing finishes and keeps uh, telling you how much it is done as you can see here and that's it it's a very very simple function okay so going back here so we already have imported those two functions from that file and then i am instantiating this 11 labs client by using this api key here and then simply i am because i'm using uh, i'll be using youtube video so i'm just giving it a url you can even give it your own local video file if you have any or you can give it any other url doesn't matter so here i am passing its source url my youtube videos url then what is the source language if you don't specify it, it it is going to detect it but it's always good idea to give it to make things in life easier and then target language so i will be doing it from english to spanish and then it's a simple function call to with the api to 11 labs then it is returning it we are waiting for it to finish and then this is the main function so this is the source url of my own video source language is english target language is spanish and then i'm just creating the result and then we are telling it whether dubbing was successful or not so let me quickly show you the video which i have done from my channel let me take you to the browser so this is my learning sojourn video and i'll play it for a second to show you and i have selected this on purpose because there is a background noise so listen to it please Hi guys, this is Fahad Mirza and welcome to my channel. I am in beautiful Avoca Beach near Sydney and the purpose why I have created this channel is to teach you about AI and cloud and databases. And okay, so this is a video you see there is a I am uh, in Avoca Beach which is near where I live in Sydney. So there is a background voice, uh, voices of kids, sound of, of ocean. So that is what i wanted to check how does it do the dubbing here so i already have run that code and it created this video sorry not this one this one so let me run it and you will you can uh, judge it by yourself Hola, chicos. Soy Fahad Mirza. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Estoy en la hermosa playa de Aboca, cerca de San Luis. Y el motivo por el que he creado este canal es para enseñarte sobre inteligencia artificial. So you saw what is happening is due to that noise, um, there is a lag between the video and the audio in the resultant video. And even, you know, because it couldn't differentiate between the kid's voice and the uh, my own adult voice. So anyway, but still, the actual translation, the actual dubbing is quite good. But due to the noise, I believe there is a mismatch. So in order to verify this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one of my shorts video and let me and then uh, we will dub it. So first I'm going to change it in the code. Let me take you to my code here let's replace this url with my shorts video just going to close this let's save it and let's make it a bit bigger so i'm just going to say pi the file name is www.py as you can see on the left and then let me run it let's wait for it to come back takes a bit of a time so typing in progress, so this is what our wait function is doing. So I will let it run. Dubbing is still happening and on the left hand side, if I open that, so you might see that we will have this another file created. Maybe I think it will be in a different folder. So let's wait. So you see that it has created another video which has been saved in this fv folder so let me see which one is fv the first one is fv so this is the one which it has created the first es.mp4 es for spanish let me put it in my browser and then we will listen to the both let's first listen to the original one let me play it
Here is how you can use Meta AI's Lava 3 model on your phone in WhatsApp application. Open the WhatsApp app, then on the top tap on Ask Meta AI or Search, and then simply type any question you want to ask, like Hello, is Hello Narcissa Hox? And then it is going to give you an answer. And you can ask it anything. If you okay, so this is the original one. Let's see how it looks like in the dubbing way. Aquí te mostramos cómo puedes usar el modelo la matriz de Meta AI en tu teléfono en la aplicación WhatsApp. Abre la aplicación de WhatsApp, luego en la parte superior toca en preguntar a Meta AI o buscar. Y luego simplemente escribe cualquier pregunta que quieras hacer como hola, el infierno en la tierra es un engaño y entonces te dará una respuesta y puedes preguntarle cualquier cosa si quieres crear una imagen. Simplemente escribe barra imagina. So amazing stuff, I guess. I think this is really good. My voice, but I was speaking Spanish. How good is that? What the world we are living in? Of course, there are few, um, you know, if we want to nitpick, there are a lot of things we can criticize, but still, I think amazing, amazing technology. So, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say here. I will drop the code in my blog and I will uh, drop the link of that code in video description. Play around with it. Sign up to Lemon Labs. Let me know. What do you think? Uh, one uh, observation I wanted to make that with the release of GPT-40 from OpenAI, which combines all this audio, video, text, multi-modalities in one model, people are saying that maybe, you know, 11 labs won't survive, but I think that 11 labs has come a long way and they have also made very generous sort of API call. So let's see, game is on. Uh, if you know of any other similar tool, please share it in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.